Hey guys, this is Tanya coming at you to share with you what my day was like for um, as a teacher for the first day for VIP kid. And before you ask, um, can you wear hats while you are teaching? The answer is no. But I've been up since 3.30 this morning. My first class was at 5.00 and I am exhausted and yesterday I had a long day too. So here's the thing um, that you need to know if this is your first time teaching with VI Kid, if it's your first week, if it's your first day, let's start with the beginning. So the first thing is this, when I first got hired on, I didn't get certified in a lot of areas because as many people know, or if you don't know, let me tell you, it is not easy getting on with VIP CAD. You have to go through the mock test and everything. Um, and there is a specific uh, technique. There's a specific type of teaching that they are looking for. So it takes um, sometimes a couple of practices before you get that pass on your record, right? So once I did pass the, the mocks and everything, you still have to do demos even once you get certified. So th it, they really put thought into who they have working for them. That's the first thing. Once I got passed and ready to go, hmm, it took about three weeks before I got my first student. Now, granted, I'm an entrepreneur in other areas of my life, so I didn't really, you know, whine about it. Like some people whine about it. It was okay with me. I'm a college professor. I have my own business. It was okay. I was totally okay. But what you don't want to do is forget to look at the availability of the uh, the availability that you've set as your openings because guys they will book you and guess what those notifications are not promised so I literally just kind of looked at my schedule and what do you see book and I was like oh no and I was frantically preparing all over again because it had been three weeks since I was talking any VIP language. You don't want to do that. What you do want to do is once you sign up, you've made a decision to go for it and do this. Keep using that language while you're waiting for the bookings. Keep using TPR in your everyday life, no matter how weird it may look, until you get those bookings. Because guys, let me tell you, I had to go all the way back and look at the videos from the beginning. So here's what happened. Excuse me. Here's what happened on my first day teaching. Number one, they were all mock trials. So, hmm, you need to expect things to change during trials. What do I mean by that? Let me tell you. I opened the PowerPoints and there was something different than what I expected and studied. So let me just tell you right now. Expect things to change the day of the morning of, the second of, all the way until you open that PowerPoint presentation, expect things, just expect it to change. Number two, you will have to, my love, remain flexible. Remain flexible, period. Because let me tell you, I several of them canceled, but guess what happened when they canceled? They booked somebody else in their spot. And guess what else happened? That meant the information changed. It was never the same PowerPoint presentation. It was never the same PPT. So remain flexible and be ready for that period. Number three, if you're like me and you were freaking out like I was freaking out yesterday, you need to detach from the outcome because if you are attached to the outcome, and you see that things have changed and it's not what you practice, you're going to be discouraged. So just detach from the outcome. I just, once I saw that that was ha what was happening, that they kept changing things, I detached from the outcome. And that was my fourth thing. I was determined at that point to just have fun. So number one, expect things to change during the trial classes. Number two, be flexible period, end of story. And number three, detach from the outcome so that you can do number four, have fun. At that point, when you have no control over things that have changed, just be determined to have fun, have your props in place. Um, but be determined at that point to just have 
fun. My computer just went blank, all right? The other thing is, if you don't decide that you're just gonna enjoy the process, you're gonna be miserable. Now, what I do wanna tell you is this. Hmm. Be careful with booking back to back your first few weeks. I will not do that anymore now that I see that things change so quickly. Because as things change quick, change quickly, as things change quickly, I needed to be able to get to those items that were now new PPTs for me. And if you only have five minutes between classes, guys, you don't have time to do that. So really watch your back to back. I know everyone says back to back, back to back, but kind of watch that until you get the hang of it. So those are the things that I have for you. Number one, expect things to change in a trial, period, period, period. Number two, remain reflexible. Number three, detach from the outcome, period. And number four, be determined to just have fun. If not, you're not going to enjoy it. So what is my overall view of VIP? Because I have been a public educator for almost 20 years and a college professor for now a couple of years. So, hmm, I think that it is an amazing experience. My first class was absolutely amazing this kid was so rambunctious but he was only three years old so i was in love with him he was all over the place his family was all in the mix and they will be but you can't let that get you down i didn't care that his parents were helping him and telling him what to do while i, I didn't care i love that my second student eh, did not know any english but guess what Everybody was there, mom, the sister, the brother, everybody was there and I just had to go with the guys. If you remember the why of what you are doing, you will not get discouraged. Remember the why you are doing what you're doing. Remember that you are servicing others. And if you keep your mind and your um, heart focused on who am I servicing, even the inconveniences will be pleasurable. That's all I got for you. So you make the decision. I am going to stay with it because I love it. I just have to be flexible and I'm detached from the outcome because I know I am providing an excellent, excellent service, guys. I hope this video has helped you all. If you are anyone who needs my help, then I'm going to put my information in the link and you can email me and I'll walk you through what you need to go through, especially some of the mocks because I did bad on some, I did good on some, but I really looked at the feedback and I know the strategy of what they are looking for and what they want to see. Um, if I've missed anything or you have any questions, I am here to share what I can with you, right? Come along this journey with me, guys, and check me out. My name is Tanya Vetter. It was nice seeing you guys. Happy teaching. Bye. See you later. <laughs> That's just, I don't know. Ah, bye, guys.